Now, before we get started, I just want to say my YouTube channel is now over five years old. <laughs> so happy birthday to my YouTube channel. Now to celebrate, I want to do a fun like challenge. You have to keep the number five in the like button, in the amount of likes under this video. That's right. If it says 500, then you're fine. You don't have to press like. But if it says 600, you have to press like until it says 600 four I mean five wait I can't count that's right just make sure the number five is always visible thank you very much would you rather buy a PlayStation 4 or buy an Xbox one? Oh no I thought the console wars was finally over and PC one half of you probably have a PlayStation and half of you probably have an Xbox and to be honest they're pretty much the same systems. It doesn't matter which one you have. But what does matter is what console your friends have. If all your friends have an Xbox and you're the only one with a PlayStation, you're gonna be kind of lonely. But if all your friends have a PlayStation, then you obviously should buy a PlayStation too. I don't know. I honestly don't care. So I'm just gonna do blindfolded. Uh, oh, PlayStation 4. Oh, it actually won by 61%. Let me know in the comment section what console you have or if you're using computer, PC, whatever it's called, or you might even play games on your phone. Something you guys have probably seen on Twitter. Oh, look at that new background of mine. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can get all the new backgrounds that I post on my story there. At Jelly on Instagram. Would you rather always be hot? Hot is in like good looking hot? I mean, I pretty much am, right ladies? I think what they're trying to say is hot is in being warm or always be cold. Now, there's two things, okay? Two things I want to talk about. If you're always hot, you can't really cool down. You can like lay in a pool to cool down. You know what I mean? With those like, you know, like the wrinkles on your hands that you get from being in a pool. Is that just me? But however, if you're always cold, you can put on some clothes and like a nice jacket to keep yourself warm. But it pretty much says you're always gonna be cold, so you're not gonna get warm. <gasps> so in that case, I'll just always be hot. Yep, I'll always be hot. Nobody agrees. Oh, great. 43% does, but that's less than average. I'm sorry to interrupt this video, but it's time for a note from our sponsor. Starting from June 7th, game is kicking off E3 with Xbox deals unlocked and the return of Sony Days of Play. There'll be loans of consoles, games, accessory, and stuff like that available. Make sure you simply head in store in real life or go online to game.co.uk. Links in the description. Side note, Microsoft is releasing a special edition Edition Xbox One S Fortnite console. <laughs> Fortnite console, yes, I did say that. Which is also available to pre-order at game.co.uk. Plus, to celebrate E3, Game is hosting a giveaway where you can win a special edition PlayStation 4 Days of Play. To be in chance to win, all you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video and download the Game Rewards app to participate. I wish everybody watching this video good luck. I hope you win the PlayStation. And if not, make sure to check out their other deals because they're pretty amazing. Thank you, Game, for sponsoring this video. And now let's continue. Would you rather live in a penthouse in the city? It's basically the top floor of an apartment building. Or live in a mansion in the countryside. Now, this is actually a really interesting one. Everyone wants different things. Personally, I grew up in a house, not a mansion, in a house, and I kind of moved out and started living in apartments, and I really like apartments, okay? You lock the door, you don't have to worry about it. You don't got no garden that you have to clean or take care of, you know? An apartment is quite easy. Plus, with a penthouse, you have a higher guarantee of having a nice view, which is very relaxing. Oh. But living in a mansion in the country, it's probably the most relaxing thing. It's probably even cheaper too, depending on the size, of course. And you just feel like you have a lot more room. It kind of depends on my age. Currently, I would say I would live in a penthouse because, you know, I'm a young guy. I, I don't want to be around old people in the countryside, but maybe uh, over the age of 40, I'd, I'd say the mansion. But right now, the penthouse it is. 42% agrees. Yes, less than average. I'm doing great. Would you rather have an ice breath? Wait, how does that even make sense? You're like, <sighs> There's ice coming out. <laughs> oh, wait. <gasps> Imagine you order a drink at a restaurant and it's warm. And then you can use your ice breath to cool it down. That'd be nice. You could literally make ice cubes in your mouth. 
Whoa. Or have a fire breath. That'd be pretty cool too. You could pretty much barbecue with it. Even though I'm not sure if you would want to eat that. Because there would be like saliva pieces over it. It's disgusting. I don't know. Having a fire breath seems kind of hot. I'd rather go with an icy breath. Mm, talking about icy breath. This is my coffee, and my coffee gives me an icy breath in the morning. <laughs> Don't ask me why the cup's so small, okay? I'm a small guy. Would you rather have a banana stuck in your ear? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. Or have a banana stuck up your nose. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Now, I'd rather not have a banana stuck anywhere. <laughs> that sounds weird. But if I would have to... Okay, listen up. I breathe through my nose. Having that blocked off would be kind of annoying. Having a banana stuck in my ear, however, would mean I can only use one ear to hear different sounds around the world. I'd be like, hello. Having it in your nose is kind of like in your face, isn't it? Like having it in your ear kind of just makes more sense. It'd get really disgusting though, because bananas rot quite quickly and they'll get really smelly. 70% agrees. Yes. Would you rather receive $5 a day for the rest of your life? Although five, $5 a day is not a lot of money, but if you get it every day without having to do anything, that's pretty good. Or receive $50,000 right here, right now. So $50,000 means 10,000 days. Wait, wait, wait a minute, how many years is that? So let's say, let's say, just let's say I live for 80 years, right? So you go five times 365. I, I'm really good at math. Times 80, because that's how many days I will live. That's $146,000. Now, I could eat or take that. Only get $5 a day, though. Or receive $50,000 right here, right now. You can literally use $50,000, invest in something, right? And make a little bit of money every year by that investment and make more at the end. Okay, I'm, I'm taking the 50 grand. Plus, then I can buy a nice car. Okay, this one's not fun. Would you rather pull all of your toenails out? Uh, I would rather not. Or pull all of your hair out. Now, we're not just talking about the hair on your head, right? We're talking about all the little hairs I have growing over here. We're talking about all the little hairs I have growing anywhere else in my body. In fact, I actually waxed my leg once uh, for, for a challenge for a YouTube video. I know, it sounds stupid. Pulling all of your toenails out will probably be really painful as well but I only have 10 of them. We're going with toenails, boys. 44% agrees. <laughs> Would you rather live to be 120 years old and accomplish nothing or live to be 50 and be well known for world changing accomplishments? Accomplishments. Sorry about that, it's just my English. To be honest with you, you can live 120 years, which is a really long time, first of all. Not a lot of people get that old and have a decent time and a really good time and not care about what people think of you after. I'd rather live 120 years and see all the good things of the world instead of living a short life, but be well known. Fame isn't important, kids. It really isn't. Get old already. All right, here we go. Nobody agrees. Great. Nobody agrees. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please leave a like if you agree. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a tear. Only if you help on getting the amount of likes on the number five something what the number five needs to be in the light goal okay please have the number five in there for five years of jelly would you rather live in a castle or own a yacht okay it doesn't say live in a yacht it says own a yacht that can mean anything like i could own a yacht and just have there on the water and nobody cares about it plus living in a castle i mean it sounds scary but it could be a tiny little castle oh think about this one if you own a yacht you can literally sail to anywhere in the world and visit other places and potentially other castles. Why would you have to live in one? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm owning a yacht, boys. Buy castle. I feel like the world is not with me today, guys. I'm clicking all these buttons and I'm getting the wrong answers. Would you rather have $150 in quarters or have $100 in paper money? If you have $150 in quarters, that means you'd also have to spend it like that. If you buy a meal worth $40, you have to literally count the quarters in the restaurants to $40 and bang like that. Like, that's just annoying. It'd be good for vending machines, though. Having a lot of quarters is sometimes nice. But listen up, $100 in paper money, it's just easy, you know? It's one single bill that you can put in your wallet and not worry about losing it. Could you imagine how heavy $150 worth of quarters is? 
You can't just carry that around. I'm going with the paper money. Oh, hell yeah. Nobody agrees with me again. If you were on a safari, would you rather have your foot stepped on by an elephant? Oh no, that's a bad idea. Or have your foot bitten by a lion? Not really feeling this one. <laughs> so listen, elephants, I guess they're dangerous, but they're, I think they can be sweet to humans, right? Elephants are known to be like really smart animals, but they are very heavy. But having your foot bitten by a lion, I mean, will you still have a foot? I guess not, right? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just a bit scared of the lion, to be honest. What else is he gonna bite? Okay, I'm going with the elephant. Yeah. Oh, only drink carbonated beverages. Drinks with like bubbles, right? Or never drink carbonated beverages. Um, Basically, carbonated beverages are sodas, right? They usually have a lot of sugar. They're not very healthy for you. I mean, you have sugar-free ones, but let's be honest here, they're not as good. Just throwing it out there. But drinking water carbonated, I mean, it's nice, but like, you know, for the rest of your life? Oh no, thank you. I'd go with the never drink it again. Pure because I wouldn't be able to live with myself only being being able to drink it. Yeah, that would, that would just suck. And 65% agrees. Oh, yes, thank you, lords. Thank you. Now for the last one, I want you to answer the following question. If you look over here, there will be a little dot where you can answer the following question. Would you rather watch a Fortnite video or watch a GTA 5 video? Now make sure you click that little button and answer it in the would you rather poll. That's how I know what the next video is supposed to be. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to keep Keep the like button on something with a vibe. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. And also, click on that bell. Become a member of my channel. And I think that's all you want these days, right? Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button. And also, make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on jellystore.com.